How is the campaign going before oh you Oh, my go? gosh, it's going great. I have been traveling every day that I'm not in the classroom. People are excited, um, and I really feel like, you know, people know the choice this election. They can choose chaos or they can choose... You know, steady wisdom experience. So it's not a part of you that's a little worried because no, it seemed to be no, off kilter a little no, bit. No, okay. I feel that Joe will be reelected. But when these polls, like the Wall Street Journal one, land in the White House and he's losing in all the battleground states, then... no, he's not losing in all the battleground all but one. states. He's coming up and he's um, even or doing better. So mm. you know what? Once people start to focus in and they see their two choices, mm -hmm. it's obvious that Joe will win this. <laughs> so it seems like uh, Jill Biden had an issue with uh, <clears throat> CBS speaking the truth that he's losing. No, he's not. And then she proceeded to say that he's coming up. Well, if he's coming up, that means he's behind, which is what he said. But OK. And I don't think he's coming up at all. <clears throat> and uh, I think we could prove that. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And hey, yeah, they're polls. But when they all agree, I think you got some trouble. Very real possibility that Donald J. Trump can be your president-elect. Anything can happen in 215 days, but Trump is now consistently pulling ahead of Biden in almost every single battleground state. According to a brand new uh, Wall Street Journal poll just out, well, Trump is leading in six out of seven swing states, up by five in the important state of Arizona, four in Nevada, three in Michigan, three in Pennsylvania, one in Georgia. That needs to get larger, six in North Carolina, and in the seventh state, Wisconsin, Trump and Biden are tied. In poll after poll, President Trump is beating Biden nationwide and beating him in what we believe will be the key swing states. But according to Dr. Jill Biden, well, the polls don't really exist. They are but a mere figment of your imagination. Take a look. People know the choice this election. They can choose chaos or they can choose you know, steady wisdom experience. So it's not a part of you that's a little worried because no, it seemed to be no, off kilter a little no, bit. No, I okay. feel that Joe will be reelected. But when these polls, like the Wall Street Journal one, land in the White House and he's losing in all the battleground states, then... no, he's not losing in all the battleground all states. He's coming up and he's um, even or doing better. So mm. you know what? Once people start to focus in and they see their two choices, mm -hmm. it's obvious that Joe will win this. Yeah absolutely crazy <laughs> i don't know what she's been looking at but um yeah uh i don't think things are gonna go the way that she expects and you know one of those reasons is there is a major shift amongst black folks and um it's it's amazing amazing to watch absolutely amazing because i mean literally just four years ago you wouldn't have thought that this type of thing would happen. Now, granted, I don't think a majority of black people are going to vote for Donald Trump. Okay. I wish that was the case. I mean, that, that would be incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. But I do think that um, Democrats are in for a major wake up call. Major wake up call. Even CNN said it. Check it out. Trump at this point is polling not only better than he did in 2020, among both black and Hispanic voters. He's polling better, Casey, than any Republican presidential nominee since the civil rights era. Uh, you know, in the routinely getting in the 20s now in polls, uh, both nationally and in the key states among black voters and around 45 among Hispanic voters. And all of that has understandably received Trump at this. Yeah. Biggest numbers in what, 50, 60 years? Which, that, that is absolutely crazy to even think about. Um, yeah, it's quite sad, right? Uh, we've only been voting for one party uh, that with, at that high of a rate. Uh, it's quite crazy. Quite crazy. But, you know, I do think that is one of the reasons why um, Trump is going to have a huge uh, day come November. And it's going to be fantastic. And it's because of people of color. Black people and Hispanics. Hispanics are at almost 50%. 50. I believe I did see a poll where they were at 50%. But, um, yeah, man. 
Democrats are in some major trouble. And listen, <laughs> every single poll that you look at, every single one, every single one, I mean, it, it, it lends credence to uh, Trump is going to win. And yes, they are polls, but I have backed up these polls with actual video evidence of people, you know, uh, um, endorsing Trump, including folks who uh, admit that they are Democrats and voted for Biden the first time and voted for Hillary and voted for Obama, but now we'll vote for Trump, right? So uh, I do understand that you got to take these polls with a, with a grain of salt, but like I said, I backed them up, okay? I backed them up. The Wall Street Journal released new polling from swing states. And as you can see here, a lot of red. Donald Trump leading President Biden in six of seven swing states. Only in Wisconsin does President Biden hold a very small lead. With us now, CNN senior data reporter, Harry Enton. And the question, Harry, is why? What are you seeing underneath the numbers that might contribute to these leads for Donald Trump, particularly when it comes to support for President Biden among Democrats? Yeah, you know, let's take a look here. So this is approval among Democrats on Biden's handling of a lot of different issues here. The economy, Russia, Ukraine, pretty good, right? 81 percent. Jump down to foreign policy, you see this drop to 65 percent. Gun violence, 60 percent. U.S.-Mexico border, 58 percent. These are not good numbers for a Democrat amongst his own party. But look here, the Israel-Hamas war, look at that approval rating. Less than 50 percent of Democrats are approving on Joe Biden, on the Israel-Hamas war. And more than that, John, these numbers have gotten significantly worse. So this is Democrats' views of Biden on the Israel-Hamas war. Look back in October of 2023. It was 67 percent. Look where we are today, 48 percent. That disapproved number? Number, look at that, jumped up from 28 percent in October of 2023 to 46 percent. Now, this is within the margin of error. Democrats are split on Joe Biden's handling of the Israel Hamas war. John, you know, I look at poll numbers a lot for a president to be doing this poorly amongst his own party on any issue is quite something to say. Very unusual. The question is, yeah, absolutely insane. You know, an internal Democrat civil war against one another. Love to see it. Love to see it. And I, I don't think it's going to get any better because we've seen Joe Biden and Democrats double down on what they've been doing and their party is completely split over it. So much so that some people have said, you know what, I'm, I'm leaving and I'm joining Republicans. <laughs> I am leaving and joining Republicans, you know, um, but hey, I, I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. I am not going to complain about that. Like I said before, Anyone and everyone that wants to join the Republican side of the political aisle, I welcome you with open arms, right? I welcome you with open arms. Leave those policies that you supported behind and come over to the good side. We all welcome you, okay? We all welcome you. Don't care who you are, all right? Who you are, what you said in the past, don't care. The fact that you can admit that you were wrong and, um, you know, try to right that wrong, I respect you. I respect it. Right. So, um, come on over, come on over. And you know, the funny thing about this is that, you know, the internal Democrat civil war is everywhere Joe Biden goes, they protest this man. They protest him. You know, people tried to try to say that, oh, um, you know, when, when Trump went to, uh, the UFC event, well, one of the many UFC events that he went to, and uh, Bill Burr's wife gave him the middle finger, right? They tried to make a big deal out of that, right? One chick who, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be respectful. Uh, one person giving Donald Trump the middle finger, as well as uh, there was a football stadium that he went to. I don't remember exactly which game it was, but there was a gentleman that they took a picture of, a photo of, and he seemed to be giving the middle finger up at Trump, who was like up in like a press box. Um, there's been some speculation as to whether that guy was actually giving Trump the middle finger or giving some fans of the opposing team the middle finger. Let's say Democrats were right, and that guy was actually flipping Donald Trump off. One thing that they didn't show were the thousands upon thousands of folks that were cheering as he walked into the stadium, cheering as he was standing in the press box and waving. That's what they didn't show. They just showed this little tiny clip of, you know, this guy, you know, supposedly giving Trump the middle finger and they cropped it. Right. Um, that's how desperate they are. 
But everywhere Joe Biden goes, this is what happens. Check it out. Enjoy Trump because we're not voting for Biden ever. Enjoy Trump. We hope you love him. We'll be the same. Everywhere this guy goes, that's the type of reception he gets, right? And of course, we can we can compare that in stark contrast to, you know, wherever Trump goes and there's a standing ovation and people are yelling and screaming and all types of stuff going on. Right. And we've seen many of those clips. Every time he shows up to UFC, the crowd erupts. I mean, just goes absolutely bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Even Joe Rogan was like, that place was loud. You know, even Joe Rogan, who previously said that he didn't support Trump. Now he's he's backed off of that statement, which, hey, we welcome Joe Rogan as well. Elon Musk, too, is one of those types of individuals. Um, like I said, anyone who wants to right the ship, we welcome. But even Joe Rogan had to admit, like, yo, that arena just went crazy when he walked in. Crazy. But then Joe Biden gets that type of reception. Just saying. I think Jill is off her rockers. <laughs> Joe must be rubbing off on Jill. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm just saying. Um, oh, that, that actually sounded kind of bad. But. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Uh, I, I, I meant like the mental capacity rubbing off on Jill. I didn't mean to take things you know that that way hopefully you weren't eating when i said that anyway y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below like share comment hit that subscribe button before you go peace and love i'm out